Hello friends, I am Ambika. Welcome to SA Educational Hub, a platform to share knowledge, service providers, Situn and Ambika. In this Python tutorial video, we will learn how to code the summation of series in Python. In this part of the video, we will discuss four examples of summation of series in Python. Write a program to input the value of x and n and print the sum of the following series. Example 1. Write a Python script to find sum of the series 1 plus x plus x to the power 2 plus x to the power 3 and so on, where x and n are the number input by user, x representing the base and n representing the power till the series would go. First we get the value of x and n from the user using the input function. x is a float type variable and n is an integer type variable. We initialize the sum variable to 0. We use a for loop to calculate the sum of the series. We can also use a while loop to calculate the sum of the series. The loop iterates from 0 to n because the default value of the starting point of the range function is 0. The ending point n plus 1 is not included. In each iteration, x is raised to the power of the current index value of i. The double asterisk sign is used for this purpose. Then it is added to the sum variable using the sort hand assignment operator plus equals. This is same as sum equals sum plus x to the power of i. Finally, we print the sum of the series using print function. In our example, we entered the x value as 2 and the n value as 5. So, the first term 2 to the power of 0 is 1. Then the term value 1 is added to the sum. Now the sum is 1. Similarly, the second term 2 to the power 1 is 2. Then a new term 2 is added to the sum value of 1. Now the sum is 3. The process continues until the n value is 5. That is 2 to the power of 5 which is 32. Finally, the sum of the series is 63. Example 2. Write a Python script to find sum of the series. 1 minus x plus x to the power of 2 minus x to the power of 3 and so on. Where x and n are the number input by user, x representing the base and n representing the power till the series would go. First, we get the value of x and n from the user using the input function. x is a float type variable and n is an integer type variable. We initialize the variable sum to 0 and the variable sign to minus 1. We use a for loop to calculate the sum of the series. We can also use a while loop to calculate the sum of the series. The for loop iterates from 0 to n because the default value of the starting point of the range function is 0, the ending point n plus 1 is not included. In each iteration, the sign gets changed and the x is raised to the power of the current index value of i. The double asterisk sign is used for this purpose. We can also use the library function pow for this purpose. Then it is multiplied with the sign variable to get a new term. Then the variable term is added to the sum variable. The last line inside the for loop prints each term which is optional. It is only meant for better understanding. We can omit this statement. Finally, we print the sum of the series using the print function. In our example, we enter the x value as 2 and the n value as 4. So, the first term 2 to the power of 0 is 1 and the sign is positive because minus 1 multiplied by minus 1 is plus 1. Then the term value 1 is added to the sum. Now the sum is 1. Similarly, the second term 2 to the power 1 is 2 and the sign is negative because 1 multiplied by minus 1 is negative 1. Then a new term minus 2 is added to the sum value of 1. Now the sum is minus 1. This process continues until the n value is 4 that is 2 to the power of 4 which is 16. Finally, the sum of the series is 11. Example 3. Write a python script to find sum of the series x minus x to the power 2 divided by 2 plus x to the power 3 divided by 3 and so on. 
where x and n are the number input by user, x representing the base and n representing the power till the series would go. First, we get the value of x and n from the user using the input function. x is a float type variable and n is an integer type variable. We initialize the variable sum to 0 and the variable sign to minus 1. We use a for loop to calculate the sum of the series. We can also use a while loop to calculate the sum of the series. The loop iterates from 1 to n because the ending point n plus 1 is not included. In each iteration, the sign gets changed and x is raised to the power of the current index value of i. The double asterisk sign is used for this purpose. We can also use the library function pow for this purpose. We Then we divide this value by i. Then it is multiplied with the sign variable to get a new term. Then the variable term is added to the sum variable. The last line inside the for loop prints each term, which is optional. It is only meant for better understanding we can omit this statement. Finally, we print the sum of the series using the print function. In our example, we entered the x value as 2 and the n value as 4. So the first term 2 to the power 1 is 2. Then the value is divided by 1 and the result is 2. Then it is multiplied by the sign variable. The sign is positive because minus 1 multiplied by minus 1 is positive 1. Then the term value 2 is added to the sum. Now the sum is 2. Similarly, the second term 2 to the power 2 is 4. Then 4 is divided by 2 and the result is 2. Then this value is multiplied by the sign variable. The sign is negative because 1 multiplied by minus 1 is negative 1. Then a new term minus 2 is added to the sum value of 2. Now the sum is 0. This process continues until the n value is 4. Finally, the sum of the series is minus 1.333. Write a python script to find sum of the series. x plus x to the power 2 divided by factorial of 2 minus x to the power 3 divided by factorial of 3 and so on. Where x and n are the number input by user, x representing the base and n representing the power till the series would go. First, we get the value of x and n from the user using the input function. x is a float type variable and n is an integer type variable. We initialize the variable sum to x. That is the first term of the series so that the loop starts from the second term. We also initialize the variable sign to minus 1. We use the sign variable to get a sign for each new term. We use a for loop to calculate the sum of the series. We can also use a while loop to calculate the sum of the series. The loop iterates from 2 to n because the ending point n plus 1 is not included. The loop starts from the second term onward. In each iteration, the sign gets changed and x is raised to the power of the current index value of i. The double asterisk sign is used for this purpose. We can also use the library function pow for this purpose. Then we divide this value by fact. Then it is multiplied by the sign variable to get a new term. Then the variable term is added to the sum variable. The last line inside the for loop prints each term, which is optional. It is only meant for better understanding. We can omit print term statements. Finally, we print the sum of the series using print function. In our example, we entered the x value as 2 and the n value as 4. We initialize the variable sum to x. Now the sum value is 2, that is the first term of the series, so that the loop starts from the second term. The second term 2 to the power 2 is 4, then 4 is divided by factorial of 2 and the result is 2. Then this value is multiplied by the sign variable. The sign is positive because minus 1 multiplied by minus 1 is plus 1. Then a new term 2 is added to the sum value of 2. Now the sum is 4. This process continues until the n value is 4. 
Finally, the sum of the series is 3.333. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Previous video was break and continue in Python. Contact us ambigarai27 at gmail.com. Please feel free to contact us if you have any questions or suggestions. Thank you.